hey guys what is up we're here and today we're gonna be talking about lies roll intro it's a new intro so you better like it and it costed me money so if you don't like it i'm gonna punch you in the face just kidding Okay, so lies. Um, you know, we're gonna be talking about lives, lies, and lies lead to stories, and stories lead to fun videos. So let's just do this. Anyway, I myself am not much of a liar, but some people will do. And ranging from lies like, like, oh yeah, I definitely did my homework when you haven't even looked at it, to, um, worse things like. Throwing a rock at a car and saying, me? I never did that. But there are, like, three, no four, types of liars. There's type one or level one. The type of person who, if they do the smallest thing, they start freaking out and sweating. And when someone asks them something about it, they just totally go into, like, a breakdown mode. You know what they kind of remind me of? You know those pictures of those guilty dogs? And you can just, like totally tell that they're lying they're also really cute so yeah anyway number one is probably the most common now th this is one step above level zero which is just the people who will literally just not lie and tell you what happened but this is almost worse this is worse because you can tell that they're lying but they're trying to lie anyway number two i'm not even gonna call it a level we all hate these people tends to tie in with entitlement these are the people that blame other people or make up entire random stories making the other person the victim make them look like they're the bad person and that they are the victim and then when you show them video evidence it's always so awesome but we all hate those people they're big bullies but we gotta deal with them <sighs> anyway um these people also tend to blur out lies. So, uh, yeah. These, this, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about, um, level three, um, which is not as bad. But these type of people, they try to be very cool. Um, they make up these insane lies. Like, they got abducted by aliens or some crap like that. Some people believe. Not even joking. It blows my mind that people believe this stuff. It's almost as bad as believing entitled people. Like, what has our society come to? This is just insane. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, I, I once had a friend. His name was, uh, let's call him Bra Brad. Yeah, Brad, 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 Brad. Now, you see... Brad, he was one of these types of people, okay? And he, he was really bad. So, Brad used to tell people that he played mobile Minecraft before it came out to the public. So many people believed him. I'm just like, bruh, because he was very bad at lying. So, he ends up saying that he went to Australia and that, like, he found, like, this weird Minecraft store that like sold old games and he was able to get one for free and that he got the game went home and played it uh, i have no words How, why okay so let's look at the facts let's see so if he was well let's see so pocket edition was made october 7 2001 or 2011 sorry i'm I'm just dumb. So, let's see. This guy was, like, 8 or 9 at the time. And uh, it was, like, let's say 2017. So, no, it was 2018, yeah. So, in 2010, he was either 1 or 0. Bruh! <sighs> Why do they even try? Like, they have to do math. There was this other guy. Let's call him Yui. And, well, let's say he... He said he used to play Minecraft all the time on his phone. But later I found out he doesn't even have a phone. And it's just like, 
bruh, <laughs> like, you lie about these things that are so easy to find out that just leaves you wondering, like, why, just why. <sighs> anyway, I have one more story to tell, which is literally the funniest story here. It, it's just hilarious how dumb this guy was. So, in, like, second or third grade, I'm pretty sure it was second, I don't know, this man, they threw a tennis ball on the top of the school roof. And he was really sad about it, and all the other people, including me, were just like, what the heck, man? What's so bad about this? And when the principal comes over, or, like, I don't know, maybe one of the, te- like, supervisors, he's like, why, why is this ball so important? And he's like, well, you see. This was my great daddy's tennis ball, and it was passed down to my granddaddy's tennis ball, and then my daddy's tennis ball, and now it was my tennis ball. So the fact that I have lost it is now a disgrace. Uh, I think I'm a go. I will sue you for this. I'm sorry, but you're entitled. <sighs> People these days, so unbelievable. Anyway, I believe I finished. Nope, haven't. Are you ready, guys, to hear my deepest and darkest secret or lie? See, my worst lie was that I kind of... You win! Hello? You win? What are you you doing here? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I just was walking up stairs, and then I crashed through the roof, so now I'm here. What? Anyway, you have any stories to tell us? Oh, yeah. The one time that I lied and got severely punished was when I was home alone. My parents were gone. So, I'm like, I'm thirsty. But instead of going to get a Coke like a normal person... I just decide to go make myself a milkshake because I'm thirsty and I'm crazy like that. So I grab the nanners, just place it in. I grab the milk, grab the milk, grab the sugars, and then I grab the cinnamons. I yeet it all into the blender. And then, to be the dumbest thing ever, I turn it on. And then I walk away from the blender. I just walk away. And, like, I go to the bathroom. And then when I come out of the bathroom, let's just say I was met with a surprise. Yeah, so I'm just like, what do I do? So I check my phone because my parents make me download this app to know where I am at all times. And I can know where they are. So they're 10 minutes away. I have an eternal heart attack. I'm freaking out. So I immediately start cleaning this mess up. I gotta clean. I can't die today. So I check the app again. And to realize that the almighty savior, my brother, went to my sister's house. So I have extra time. Yes! Just to clean that mess up real quick. Gotta get that mess. I'm constantly checking the phone. Like, <laughs> okay, so I decided to put it down for a bit. Just keep cleaning. Then when I pick it up again, that's five minutes away from the house. Yep, boy. He's scared. So he's cleaning it up. The floor. And then my dad walks in while I'm cleaning. And then my and dad's like, what you doing? I'm like, <laughs> In my mind, I'm having internal meltdown. Like, what do I do? I'm like, I'm just spilled some coke on the ground. Yeah. So, so I just have a. So I just walk away, walk back, walk to my room, and then I'm fine for that day. And then I come downstairs the next day. To my mom's like, what did you do? I'm like, nothing, nothing. It's like, but why is everything sticky? And I'm like, well, I'm screwed. And my then, then my mom, my dad tells my mom about me cleaning the floor. So let's just say my mom had me do a punishment. 
I have to clean up all the messes. So my little brother spills his chalky milk everywhere. His chalky milk is on the ground, and guess who has to clean it up? Me. That's all about the chalky milk. I also have to do that for another week. The entire week I have to clean up everybody's messes. So, well, let's just say I never try to make a smoothie ever again. Okay, guys, that was a very interesting story. Thank you, Ewan. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Um, This video did take kind of long to make, not that long. Anyway, it was super fun to make. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I just spat two animations on my channel at the same time. I don't care. This is my channel. Anyway, I'm on a trip, so we won't be seeing gaming videos until the weekend. Hope you enjoyed, and you and say it with me. Bye! Bye. Who lied?